A warm greeting, this is the meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking and in this video, I would like to talk about the changes that the National Hurricane Center has announced for this 2023 hurricane season, which is about to begin. As you may know, here at Hurricane Info, we are attentive to the official start of the hurricane season in the East Pacific, which begins on May 15, and also to the official start of the hurricane season in the Atlantic, which begins on June 1. Briefly, I wanted to tell you that we continue to see how the zones of the Pacific equator continue to warm up. So there is a high probability that the El Niño phenomenon will develop during the next few months. In addition, the region of the subtropical Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico remain with ocean surface temperatures warmer than normal, and this will have an impact on the hurricane season forecast and anticipated cyclonic activity. If you are interested in knowing more about this particular topic, I invite you to search for a video that I recorded a few weeks ago talking about preliminary forecasts for this hurricane season. Now, in this video, I would like to talk about the changes in this hurricane season, especially about the changes announced by the National Hurricane Center. First, know that starting on May 15, the tropic perspectives will be issued every six hours in the East Pacific Zone, and just like last year, the tropic perspectives forecast will also be issued for the Atlantic region. Although the hurricane season officially begins on June 1, the reason is that over the past few decades, we have seen the formation of some tropical systems before the start of the hurricane season in the Atlantic region. And just like last year, they will start issuing tropic perspectives early. In particular, we are talking about this type of forecast that the National Hurricane Center issues. I also want to mention that this product will have a significant change during the 2023 hurricane season. Until 2022, the National Hurricane Center forecasted the development probabilities at 2 and 5 days in their tropic perspective. So, for example, when we saw an image like the one I'm showing you, it meant that a tropical cyclone could be forming in this region during the next 5 days. However, these forecasts have significantly improved in accuracy, and therefore, starting this hurricane season, the National Hurricane Center will be marking the areas that may have cyclonic development up to 7 days in advance. So, this year, we will see that the areas marked by the National Hurricane Center include the probability of cyclonic development at 7 days and also the probability of development at 2 days. This is a very significant change, and in my opinion, it is very favorable because it will give more time for people to prepare for the threat of a possible tropical cyclone. Another very important announcement is that this year, the National Hurricane Center will be including a product on cyclonic surge for the Puerto Rico region. Until last year, this was only for the states of the Gulf of Mexico coast and the East Coast. However, this year they will be adding the island of Puerto Rico, where this product will show the risk of flooding due to cyclonic surge. So, it is a very useful product for us in Puerto Rico because if you didn't know, cyclonic surge is responsible for up to 50% of hurricane-related deaths in the United States. So, here in Puerto Rico, we hope that it will be useful for us to prepare and save lives. Another change for this year is the projection of the cyclone's path that the National Hurricane Center will be issuing. Remember that since 1970, we have seen how forecasts are increasingly accurate, and in fact, in 2022, we had the lowest error percentage that we have seen in the last decades. So this shows us evidence that the forecasts from the National Hurricane Center are increasingly precise, for example, this is the graph for the Atlantic Ocean, and for the East Pacific region, we have seen considerable improvement from 1990 to 2022. So for this year, the National Hurricane Center has indicated that for the Atlantic, the cone of uncertainty in the trajectory will basically remain very similar to what we had last year. However, for the East Pacific region, we see that the cone of uncertainty will be smaller from the third, fourth, and fifth days, so it is definitely good news. We are talking about approximately 7% less margin of error than we had last year. In comparison, you can see how the cone of uncertainty has been reducing since 2003, see in purple or violet color what was the width of uncertainty for 2023, and as the years go by, we see how that margin of error is reduced due to forecasts continuing to improve over the years. So here we can see in red what the margin of error will be for this year for the Atlantic and in green what it was for 2017, which you can see is a slightly smaller cone of uncertainty. So it is definitely also good news, and we hope that these forecasts will continue to improve over the next few years. I also wanted to mention that not only has the National Hurricane Center improved the cone of uncertainty and trajectory, but we have also seen a considerable improvement in the forecast of the intensity of cyclones for both the Atlantic Ocean Basin and the East Pacific region. However, this improvement has been less than that of the trajectory of these cyclones. So there is still much work to be done to improve the forecasts of the intensity of these cyclones. Well, that would be all for this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, simply go to the bottom of the video to the red button that says subscribe. 
Click it, and then click the bell so that you receive notifications when I upload these videos. I hope you will join me this hurricane season, and soon I will be publishing educational videos on how we should prepare for the hurricane season. These videos will be published starting this week, so stay tuned.